Ladies and gents, why do I have like zero recoil on my gun? Should I share my wall hack with you? And aren't you all amazed that I haven't been banned? And quite a few other comments that I can't bring myself to edit into the video, as it's probably not worth the joke that, that I'm running with. But welcome to this video. I'm Get Good Guy. This is Battlefield 5, and as I've vastly increased my uploads recently, a lot of positives have come with that. But of course, there are significant downsides as well. And one of those downsides is the return of the cheating and hacking accusations. Yep, little old me, not a super aimbot, but I, <laughs> I still get cheating accusations somehow. But I want to turn that into a positive. This isn't a defense of myself video. It's me trying to help So today I'm mixing footage from the past two weeks of videos to show the kind of gameplay I've been providing for you during these cheating accusations to keep everything above board and Mixing in some demonstration clips if you want to skip the quick intro and explanation of the premise Please use the timestamp provided on screen right now to get straight to my tips But if you have a solid attention span and actually want all of the relevant relevant information, well good for you, and I, I respect that, <laughs> let's carry on. Now I didn't show the names of those commenters at the start of the video because they aren't being vindictive or hurtful or really doing anything particularly wrong as such. They genuinely just think I'm cheating. And that made me realise something. It made me realise that despite some other people having far better aim and reactions than I personally do, there's probably lots of people out there who don't know the basic techniques for controlling recoil, and thus what I take for granted, and take advantage of when I'm playing, they just don't. So I'm going to share some of my basic tips with you today in case that's you. Although I know most long time viewers will have seen many clips of me totally screwing up my aim, it's been said before that I'm that weird dichotomy of a very high KD player who, who does pretty well generally, who at times can appear to be someone without thumbs and doesn't know how to play the game at all. And finally, I do play on console, so all of the tips today will help Xbox and PlayStation users, but only some of them will be directly applicable on PC. So let's dive into this and I want to open with a tip that doesn't actually involve aiming at all because I said before that some people aim and react way faster and more accurately than I do. So how do I get so many clips that also cause people to question why people seemingly are barely ever looking at me and seem entirely clueless? Well the answer is positioning and game sense and you can totally do it too. Let me run you through a quick example. Okay, let's hope this works. This is my second time trying to record this because my goddamn capture card, I'll get to sort it out. Right, so <laughs> uh, let's look at a scenario where say there's someone, an enemy, you know they're around there because your teammate died, an audio cue, or you just expect them to come from there. Yes, there are lots of ways you can work this out. We'll go into that in depth in a different video. But for now, that's your assumption. Do you know what most people are gonna do uh, or at least players that aren't particularly, you know, one foot of the game in that scenario. They're going to run down here and they're going to create a 50-50 or worse where they've got to rely on their aiming, their recoil control, all that sort of stuff and they're taking a disadvantageous position compared to what they could have. Let me show you what you can do with just a split second of using your brain, alright? Things you can do to give you that advantage. Number one, you can come down here and use these boxes and you have a head glitch, you have the advantage in the gunfight and you can easily bail out if you need to and save your life. Number two, you could do something that barely anyone ever does. You can do something like this, go up here and use this as a head glitch and be somewhere where no one's gonna really look for you. Definitely a good thing to do, keep that kind of thing in mind. Number three, use your smoke to block off that path there and cross it so that you can get to a position where they're not going to look for you. You got this here, you got these here, you can pop out, surprise them, get that advantage. Next up, what about not going down there at all and using this to your advantage? If you think they don't know you're here and you know they're coming, boom, you've got a nice little position here. And next one is you can go up here, if you can do it unseen, do this, and you've got the high ground Anakin. You can shoot down on them, this person is gonna die. Next up, what about going up here? Say your teammates are all gonna shoot down there. Well, now they've got the enemy's attention, you can come up here and you can use the high ground up here instead. You've got another lane here, you've got little point here you can go inside into this thing at here with this little majiggle here and shoot out of someone's here lots of things you can do other than just run up to the enemy and finally what about going all the way around the back if there's a group of them and they're engaged with your guys over there come round here you can shoot them from a different angle they're not going to expect it because they've come from here anyway in behind 
Bada bing, boom, bam, they're all dead, you're the hero. Just from thinking for a split second, what can I do that is not the norm? Rather than creating a 50-50 and relying on my aiming and my recoil control, you can take advantage of so many other things and pick up easy kills. All right, good. So with that kind of premise in mind, let's now go through the basic tips I provided for one of the commenters at the start of the video to improve your aim and recoil control. And let me stress, these are really, really basic tips, not some genius ideas. In no particular order, I always pull down on the stick when firing in order to control vertical recoil. So I have a slight amount of pressure on the stick pulling down to mitigate the gun bouncing up when I fire. If I'm using a fully automatic, then I'm pulling down pretty consistently consistently at a steady rate and then horizontal recoil at the same time is often mitigated by using specializations. So if there's a gun out there that I feel bounces too much to the left and or right, I'll generally put on specializations to reduce that. Whereas guns that seem to be fairly stable from a horizontal recoil perspective, I instead generally would choose specializations that benefit me in other ways because I don't need to bring down that recoil. I assume that makes sense, I hope it does. Moving on. I also then either aim side to side or straight side to side in order to stay on target if I'm struggling. So this is for horizontal recoil again. I employ a tactic of moving either the aiming stick or the strafing stick, the movement stick, side to side to counteract the horizontal recoil. But it's not directly, it's not like I'm just completely predicting it all the time. If the enemy is moving side to side, I will mirror them. And another thing that I do is, I will do this side to side movement, fully understanding that I may miss some shots, but by moving side to side, I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to land so of them. I'm not just going to straight up miss the target. By going left to right, my bullets are kind of hitting an area, ensuring that I will land damage on the target. If it comes down to a 1v1 and I don't have time to employ that, or I don't want to risk employing that, I'll just go all in and try to aim at them, and if I miss, then I'll die. Over time, you'll get used to making these decisions on the fly without really thinking about it. They'll just happen automatically, and you'll pick the right technique for the right situation. Then, relatively constant pressure is maintained on the stick in in order to again correct horizontal deviation when necessary. And when I'm not doing a strafing left to right thing, I don't have my thumb kind of floaty. I don't have it just resting on top. I will have generally a small amount of pressure on that stick ready to correct horizontal recoil when necessary. I think this is really important because if you're not primed to correct it, it's gonna take you longer to do it. If you're right there ready to go left or right as you need to, you're gonna be able to more consistently win those gunfights by correcting the deviation of the horizontal recoil. Next up, if I'm losing control, i.e. of the recoil or I'm not acquiring the target properly, I will stop firing and either bail on the situation or reacquire the target. This is a big one. Some of those people out there that think that I don't miss very much is because when I start missing, I stop firing. I don't just fully commit to a gunfight and then go, well, let's see what happens. If I feel like I'm losing it or I'm screwing it up, I will stop, I will exit, or I will take that split second to stop firing and reacquire the target so I can then take them down. On top of that, I tend to stick to situations that benefit my weapon selection. This is another big one. If I was trying to use the Suomi at 200 meters, I would miss shots, of course. But you don't really see me doing that. Because why would you? You also generally don't see me a meter away from someone trying to hit them with my sniper rifle. And everything in between. Pick the right situation and the right range for your weapon. And you will have less situations where you are obviously screwing up because you put yourself in a bad circumstance. Onwards, burst firing is implemented for longer range engagements, making controlling recoil easier. If you tap out two or three or four bullets at a time with an automatic weapon, of course you're going to do better at range and it's going to look like you're not suffering with the recoil as much and you're not missing as many shots. This is a basic thing, please employ it when you need to and some guns have a select fire option so you can switch to semi-auto if you wish. Feel free to use that as well if it's going to benefit you. If you're already using a semi-auto weapon, then pace your shots to control the recoil and it will help you land your damage more consistently. And when you're using something that's more like a, let's call it a single shot weapon, like a slower firing shotgun or, or a sniper rifle or something, take the time you need or the time you are gifted by the enemy to line your shot up and make the most of it. Moving on from that, I have played many FPS games with far more extensive recoil and so BF5 doesn't feel challenging to me in that regard. That's not really a tip as such other than saying practice and experience pays off. Putting the time in trying to improve can benefit you. 
Now those are some very, very basic tips, but I really hope they help some of you out and help to clear up this myth of there not being recoil when I use certain weapons. There absolutely is. I'm just controlling it. I'm not using a Cronus. I'm not using a mouse and keyboard. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm using a controller and I'm using the sticks and basic techniques plus game sense and positioning to come out on top more often than not. And you can do the same too if you practice and keep it in mind. And so with that covered, an extra tip I have is when you come across a content creator and you think they do something well, if you're prone to assuming that people cheat, instead really really analyze their play and make a logical decision. Cheating and hacking is usually very obvious. Although not always, but generally it's not just good aim or whatever, it's unnatural aim. It's locking on. It's having literally no recoil. Stuff like that. And if you aren't sure, ask rather than accuse, unless it's completely obvious. And perhaps more importantly, ask for tips and advice and take in what they're doing while watching them. Use their ability and knowledge to improve yourself and your enjoyment of the game. And then beyond that, can we just take a second to talk about the irony of me being accused of cheating? I'm not I'm not mad about it. Um, it's just kind of funny at this point because, as covered, I'm not some superhuman aimbot at all. I think my aim and recoil control is pretty good, but not absolutely great. It's not what I rely on to perform well, and many people have seen me screw up when playing. Again, I generally go for game sense and positioning and that gives me the advantage a lot of the time to the point of I don't need ridiculous aim and recoil control most of the time. But I've also made videos about the massive hacking and anti-cheat problem on PC. Plus, I even did a full-on expose of a cheater within this community who features way up the leaderboards for this game. The irony is strong. I'm not cheating. The vast majority of you know that and would never suspect me of cheating, whether it's because you trust me or because you watch my gameplay and just go, no, he's that's just not cheating. And I hope this video helps some of you out today. A few basic tips to assist those who struggle with aiming and recoil control. If you enjoyed, hitting the like button really does help me out. I really appreciate it. I've got so much more content coming your way and I really hope you're going to enjoy that as well and all of the links to my social media including my Patreon are in the description and my pinned comment. Here is the board of awesome for the epic people who already support me on Patreon. It genuinely helps me out, it means a huge amount. They're all absolute heroes and I love them all deeply and of course often. If you want to join them on the board of awesome the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment and with that all said I am Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time latest the medic class and obviously again this one was super super easy is the type 2a this gun has been complained about so goddamn much so far it's only been in the game for a short period of time really and i see complaints every day saying nerf it i'm sick of seeing this in the kill feed all the time i'm sick of being killed by this 